Hey friends, welcome to Christy Reacts. If you're watching this, it's probably because you love The Sopranos and I love discovering this incredible show and sharing it with you. So I didn't think I was gonna need to do this, but it sounds like I do, so bear with me really quick. Even though this is hands down the best show I've watched and the fans of this show are hands down the best crew I've seen, my Soprano reactions are not my best performing videos. They're often demonetized due to graphic violence or adult content, but even when they're not demonetized, the ads that play on those videos do not generate good revenue. So needless to say, I'm doing this out of love. I love this show and I love discovering it with you. I also love reading your comments, hearing your thoughts, the banter, the references and such. But sometimes, even when you don't notice, you're spoiling some parts of the show for me, which takes away the joy of discovering the episodes and the characters and the situations as they're presenting them to me. For the most part, y'all are great, but sometimes you'll say things like, Gloria's so hot, too bad she's a psychopath. And up until now, they had presented Gloria in a different light, at least to me. She seemed great and chill. And I want to discover that she's a psychopath on camera with you watching, not in my bed reading the comment section of a video. So this is not about Gloria, okay? That was just one example. But when you're commenting, just think of me so that I can continue doing this out of love. So now that I got that out of the way, today we're watching episode 11 and 12 of season three, which I've heard are really, really great episodes. So I'm pumped. To recap, Tony's having an affair with Gloria, who I thought was chill, but we're not gonna talk about it. And I think they're being too public about it, which I think it's more disrespectful to Carmela than if they just snuck around. And Jackie Jr. and Meadow are kind of going steady. I think, I don't know if he's serious about her because he is being too juvenile and he's running around and he's, he's not taking it seriously. He's disappointing Tony and me. If you want to see me being disappointed over and over by Jackie Jr., check it out here. We also spent last episode remembering Sal and thinking about when he flipped, trying to figure that out. But it's actually really nice to see them a little younger with more hair and less grace. It was Christmas and Carmela got a $50,000 necklace and Tony got that like fish toy that actually triggered him and made him think about Sal. So everything just kind of came to full circle. In the coming episodes, I really hope to see more of Melfi. I want her to discover that Tony and Gloria are having an affair and I wanna know what she feels. I wanna know if she feels some sort of jealousy. I don't know why. Anyway, if you're looking for the watch along version, the full length reaction, you can find that on my Patreon, where you can also join my channel sponsors, John Coulson and Bradley Bradley. You guys are better than Gabagool. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow and it makes me smile like this. Okay, I got my hydration station whoop, and my headphones and I'm ready to watch. So let's do it. This is my favorite part of my week. <laughs> yeah, remember the uh, <laughs> when Carmela told Tony, like, I like Jackie, he took Meadows to see Aida. <laughs> Tony's like, I eat her. <laughs> the comedy in the show is just on point. I like this song. It's Gloria, right? I like her. She's stylish. She's independent. She makes her own money. She travels. Gloria. Look at that boat. I want one. Ooh, I like when they do that. I like when they incorporate it with the music and stuff. <laughs> Hello? Is Tony <gasps> there? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Irina. This is Mrs. Washington from the high school for little Anthony. For little Anthony. Who is on the boat with you? <laughs> I'll be sure and tell him. Right. Pretending shit. The week's not even a cast hello? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Cute. A phone call. 
You get it's an old girlfriend. You told oh, her. Oh, you mean she wasn't from the school? My God, she sounded so convincing. <laughs> they don't want to piss you off. So it's really more about you then. What you said was that you didn't want to piss me off, which implies that you'd have to deal with me, which was more about sparing you than my fucking feelings. Oh. Oh. Merry Christmas. Wait. Okay, hold on. He was honest with you. You know that Ruski, Valerie, works for Slava? Well, they owe Sil five grand. Why did you go pick it up tomorrow? Why not Sil go? I'm sending him home. He's dying from the flu. I don't even know why we deal with these people. What I guess? They make us money. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And the family's well? Oh. They continue therapy together. She was dating a different boy, a young African-American man. Yeah, they broke up. If you hadn't been so mean to him, who knows? Maybe she might not be with this one. We still don't want Noah. We still don't like him. Actually, we haven't been arguing as much lately. It's the therapy. Therapy's great. I recommend it. I know Spanish. What? Spanish? Oblique? Oblique. <laughs> Oblique. Is he kind of dumb? I said, uh, how about giving me some? Jackie, I'm sick. I think I'm disappointed by him again. Oh, Jackie, you're disappointing me over and over. I hope you don't disappoint me, Jackie Jr. I don't like you anymore. Not as much as I did before, anyway. You're leaving? I gotta let you get some sleep. Where do you think he's going? How about the Cuban Missile Crisis? Cocksuckers moved nuclear warheads into Cuba, pointed them right at us. That was real? I saw that <laughs> movie. I thought it was bullshit. <laughs> that was real? Look at this shit. TV. Stereo. DVD. The fuck's this? Universal remote. Universal remote. Money is on an entertainment center. Nice. Easy. Easy peasy. Universal remote put it down on docking station. Listen to this prick giving orders. Polly. You got some balls, my friend. You got your money. Whoops. Polly. Oh. You come to my house. What did you call me? <gasps> <gasps> Polly, what the heck? He, you got your money. What are you doing now? Okay, okay. Enough. What the fuck? What'd you do? Would I have a choice? Must have cracked his windpipe. That's it for him. What are you fucking doctor now? What are we gonna do? I know. You killed him. Um, someone said that Polly was gonna get like this and i believe it at first i liked him so much i'm feeling very sheepish i had no right to even answer your phone that's right i was gonna say that can i open it he's cute he's like a little smitten with her what is it's it beautiful a robe it's from morocco yeah nice we saw that guy but we had a problem but he started giving us some shit. Prick sucker punch me. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Chris's face was hilarious. He was like, really? I'm supposed to meet, meet Slava later. What the fuck am I supposed to say mm. to him? It's okay. Nobody was around. Whatever you decide, you do it. Wait the fuck away from me. You want to stay in? That's right. right. Mother. Because he had nothing to do with you. That was a big waste of water. Look, it was just some work shit, okay? Nine o'clock, my house. You like London broil? Yeah. Okay, at least your house. At least it's not like out in a restaurant. Got a Roy Rogers over there. You hungry? First things first, Chrissy. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Let's take them down to Pine Barrens. We take them in the woods, dig a hole. End the story. <laughs> These two now have to deal with a body. Now look, I'm going to be honest with you. A ver. 
seeing somebody. It's a patient of yours. <gasps> You're telling her. What do you feel? Why, Gloria? What do you feel? Why Melvin? not? She's smart. She's sexy. She's Italian. Do you think having met her in therapy holds any significance? Well, maybe she reminds me of you. <gasps> okay. Does she seem happy to you? When she's with me. And you know what? So am I. As much as I love my wife, being with Gloria makes me happier than all of your Prozac and your therapy bullshit combined. Why do you have to be so rude? Why? Tony's rude. I think we should have ate. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He's alive! Look at this. He chewed through the tape. <laughs> Fuck your fucking mother! <gasps> oh. I know, and he's alive? He should have pretended he was dead, get in that hole, and when they left, get out. I say like it's so easy, but that's what I would have done. Fuck you doing? You think we're digging a hole? That's right, shithead. Get the work. Digging your own grave. We start the way to some your heart now. Andale. I mean, he is Russian. And it's pretty cold up there. You gotta learn to shut the fuck up. It's too How late far for is that. it to Atlantic City? <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> Come on, bro. I gotta move more. Yeah, my job. They have to run out of bullets at some point. Oh. <gasps> they got him. I got him, didn't I? Yeah, in the head. <laughs> These guys running in the snow. You see which way he went? It's gotta be close. He and left. His head's probably hanging off. You sure I hit him at the head? Yeah, fucking. Yeah, positive. I saw it. I think. Remember this video? Movie. He's gonna be home for dinner. Yeah. All right, we're mm. going to the market. I thought you had a dinner date at Gloria's house. Maybe it's like when you cut the head off a chicken. How they keep running. <laughs> <laughs> These two. What a mess. We had a little problem. What problem? The package hit Chrissy with an implement. God damn it. Is there any way the package could survive? <laughs> no, T. No fucking way. <laughs> Cocksucker. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just go. Squirrels no. will lead him anyway. No, you can't leave it. What if he's not dead? Right there. Yeah, for miles, so. They just had to go in and get the money, and they had it. They had the money, but he had to go and throw the universal remote on the floor. Yeah, but we're still fucking lost. We're not lost. Stop getting cunty. <laughs> Tony. Tony, come in. He seems okay. Come in. Maybe he doesn't know yet. That gun sitting right there is so like I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to just like chat with him with that gun in front of it. Distracting. Mm-hmm. That's what I said, Tone. Where's your friend, you know? Who knows? He gives you your, the money, yes? I don't know, I wasn't there. So look. Just straight up vodka. Very Russian of you. Although I don't know if Grey Goose is Russian. I think it's French. He was like brother to me. <sighs> Closer than brother. But now he's tragic figure. The alcohol, the drugs, disgraces to his family. Oh my God. I would do anything for him. Dang, this is scary though. <laughs> Wait till he finds out. Oh my God. The guy you're looking for is some kind of ex-commando or some shit. He killed 16 Chechen rebels single-handed. Hey? So I'm gonna talk fast. The guy you're looking for is an ex-commando. He killed 16 Chechen rebels single-handed. 
Get the fuck out of here. That's why he's revived. He was with the Interior Ministry. Guys, I've got a Russian Green Beret. This guy cannot come back to tell this story. That's right. You have to wrap the gift. You're not going to believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. <laughs> what? His house looked like shit. <laughs> uh, his house looked like shit. <laughs> Twig snapping. You said yourself I hit two. him in the head. <laughs> With their guns. Come on, he's running. Stop shooting. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I hate you. If we were trying, we wouldn't have come close. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I lost my shoe. <laughs> oh my god, this has been... <laughs> what an unexpected adventure. Honey, coming over. I gotta get my mother's car inspected. At night? I'll call you later, okay? <sighs> you're lying. I know you're lying. <laughs> the. <laughs> Damn, it's night time already. Like We're in fucking New Jersey. South Jersey. <laughs> Maybe we should eat some of these berries. Are you nuts? <laughs> Shit like that could be poisonous. You don't know. Uh, looks like a truck. Chrissy, your head. My foot under my thigh. Use my own body. If this guy's not dead, Paul, he's fucking dead. I, I think know, he's 16 not. Czechoslovakians. It's like diehard shit. Yeah. I don't think he's dead. I think he's gonna come back and... And you know the weather report in Mexico? Chilly today, hot tamale. You heard it before? <laughs> it's an old joke, AJ. <laughs> Could be him out there stalking us. What, what? His cock? <laughs> he's in the woods. His he's hair. His pajamas. It's the fucking Yukon out there. <laughs> Polly. Fuck, there's some ketchups and shit. They clean? <laughs> I don't know, they're in the bag. Give me some. Yeah. Oh my god. You're gonna eat ketchup? Mix it with the relish. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours at the eye doctor. Glaucoma. I may need an operation. Oh my god. I lost my shoe. We found some old truck. A truck? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> How about some advice? <laughs> well, my advice is stay there. Go to the water, then you go find this guy. We're crying. No, it's just a. Uh, they need you. Your nephew. Sometimes you don't think before we act. <gasps> Polly, you are the. We'll talk later. I cannot believe you're turning this on on Chrissy. That's literally all of it was your fault. All of it. I am Bajam. I'm really sorry. I need to borrow your car. Oh. She was stood up. But I mean, Tony was dealing with a few different things, okay? To be fair. I wanted to be treated like shit I'd get married. Sorry. Center is fucking ruined. Well, go out. You were supposed to be here three hours ago. See, she understands. No I would be really pissed. Three hour delay? <laughs> what is it? Oh my god. An animal? Cut, suck, I got the sniffles. And we're stuck out here. Shouldn't have hit the guy. I shouldn't have even been there. I shouldn't have hit the guy. I'm going to sleep. Let me get some of that carpet. <laughs> wow. They're really gonna spend the night there? Give me your shoes. 
I can go get help. Fuck you. You're not leaving me here. And what's your fucking plan? Eat catch your packs? We should have stopped at Roy Rogers. And I should have <laughs> fucked the elements, but I didn't. <laughs> what? I'm truth taking it easy. We're fucking starving out here. What do you want me to do about it? Come fucking get us. You don't even know what the fuck you are. Well, I can't hear you. My head hurts. I think I got a concussion. All right, just stay calm. <laughs> Bring some food, all right? I think the the little detail of the calls, like, <laughs> cutting into another call is really funny. Now, you think you're just going to come over here and fuck me? You know what? I don't got time for this shit. Piece of shit, you know what? Here, oh. take your fucking dinner. Oh, my God. Did she throw a steak at him? I fucking hate you! Hi, Amiga. You have to pick that up yourself, girl. I know he's cheating on me. I could hear it in his voice. What if he's not, though? Doing this will make me as bad as he is. Maybe no. I think you should follow your gut. Hey, Uncle June. Missed him. You call Bobby? He's on his way. What have you been eating? Steak? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you smell like steak. <laughs> what are you wearing? Fuck this. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I gotta get my balls broken too? <laughs> Go with my nephew. Do what he says. I got oh. my limits too, Junior. <laughs> terrible, 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 terrible. I hope you don't disappoint me, Jackie Jr. I can't believe you did this to me. What are you doing here? I loved you. Metal, wait. Now you're gonna get in real trouble with Tony. Now you're gonna get in real trouble with. What the fuck is the matter with you? Oh. It's Tony Soprano's daughter. Oh, what do I care, asshole? Yeah. What does she care? One time we went hunting. We saw a sign that said bear left. So we went home. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a good one. Oh. <sighs> You should be hugging the both of you. Don't go out there. I'm eating those berries. I'm telling you, they're poison. I don't give a shit. At least I won't die hungry. Isn't their car supposed to be there? Right place. Yeah, Pike's Hollow. One mile in by the picnic table. Where's their car, though? Maybe they left. They wouldn't leave without calling. <sighs> Do you think the Russian Valerie found the car and took it? I'm sure he knows how to... How to start it without the keys. It's weird that you oh. won't even like face away from him. The room with them. I don't <laughs> want to smell your piss. Go back to fucking sleep. Why? So you could choke me? What? Think I'm stupid. You fucked up with the Russian prick. Now you're worried about Tony. You wait till I'm asleep, then you'll choke me so he'll just have your version. I'll leave you here, you want you cocksucker. <laughs> you know how fast I can run, I'll leave you in the fucking dust. One shoe cocksucker. <laughs> Promise me you won't leave me here. I'm not gonna leave you. Chrissy's good. He wouldn't. I don't think he would leave you. Oh my god. Are you okay? She was out all night. I couldn't stop her. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have pressured him like that. You no, are it's not your fault. Without him, Meadow. He was really boring. <laughs> you didn't know him like I did. You don't know what it's like to grow up where we did. Whatever, Matt. He was such a drip. No, he wasn't. He was great. He was dumb. He only knew words like ass and the. <laughs> I would use more, but this is smart. I just would use. You're no Magley over here. <laughs> I would just use more, more carpet. <laughs> These two, look at him. <laughs> Polly's hair. This whole, this whole thing. Motherfucker! No. What? What? Oh. 
What are you doing? Polly! <clears throat> no, they can hear him. Cool, 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 cool. Tommy! Over here! <laughs> Over here! <laughs> That's lucky that they found each other like that. Wow. <laughs> All night in this fucking ho ho. Ah, come on. My fucking car's gone. Are you sure this is where you left it? I fucking love that car. Probably kids or something. Oh. What if it was the guy? Yeah, what if it was the guy and it had the money in it, Silvio's money in it? It was in the car. It was in the car. All of this for nothing. Guy fucking lunged at us. Possible this fuck made it out of here alive? It's hard to say. I think Flesh so. Room, maybe. What do you want to do? <laughs> Chrissy looks. This cocksucker crawls out from under a rock. He's your problem, not mine. That's right. You deal with Slava, you take the heat, you pay the price. That's right. Come mayonnaise on your chin. <laughs> what? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Tony's had it with Polly. <laughs> he looks like a clown. Oh man, this episode had me cracking up. Because one minute she's fine, next minute she's a fucking lunatic. But I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I do the right thing by my family. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if cheating on your wife is the right thing. Depressive personality, unstable, impossible to please. Does that remind you of any other woman? Your mother. Oh, I miss Livia. Okay, so <clears throat> I actually didn't expect this episode to be so funny. I thought when everyone said like it's a great episode, I thought it was gonna be for some reason like a little more violent, like more, <laughs> more like mafia things happening. But this was the perfect comedic relief <laughs> for this for this type of show. You know, Polly and Chrissy get lost in the woods trying to clip a man. <laughs> And he runs away. Is he going to come back? I'm nervous. I'm nervous about it because he may screw things up with Slava. Slava loved him like a brother, more than a brother. We'll see. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'm spotting in the dispenser in the ladies room is out. You had an examination? <gasps> is it menopause? Well, if you spent more time in your books and less in Jackie's car. Please. Tell her. That is so over. Yes. Tell her why. And tell Tony, too. Aw. She's moved to tears. But the beauty of art. The mystical marriage of St. Catherine. That's the baby Jesus. She's so at peace, man. Beautiful, gorgeous little baby. She's really hormonal. She's probably menopause, menopausal. Uh, Come on, let's go eat. All women go through that, okay? So we shall be understanding and sympathetic. I'm sorry about what happened. You won't return my phone calls. You know what? Go fuck yourself. Mm, okay. You threw a fucking dinner at my head, Gloria. If you were a guy, I'd have to tell you where you'd be right now. I'm having a really bad couple of weeks. Shit with my family and other crap. Well, I had a lot on my plate. Can I see you later? I'm late for my appointment. Me and this broad were like a burning ring of fire. Whatever the fuck. I'm more foo. I'm more foo. Crazy love, all consuming. That's it. Oh. I mean, what do you think? Is she a full blown whoop de loo or what? She can't As you say. well know, I cannot discuss another page. That's right. What if I do get an extra five? <laughs> She's, you know, very independent mind. Yes. That's something I like about her, too. Irina was such a helpless fucking baby. 
It's true. Those eyes. Those dark black eyes. Whenever I bring her up, you get this weird push. And then you ask me, <laughs> does she seem happy? Like maybe she's not. A uh, mofo, whatever the fuck you call our relationship. A mofo. <laughs> Why would anybody hit you, of all people, with a side of beef? Mm hmm Agreed. It's complicated. <laughs> I said complicated. Dark, you said. Well, I said her eyes are dark. Ugh. Nice. Ralph. Not, Not you again. 350. Pfizer, hello. Watching your back. That's going to require a little more initiative on your part. Now that you move back home, are you gonna be humping Tony Soprano's little girl on our couch? Fuck her. <gasps> you did good. Keep coming by. Ralph, I didn't miss you in the last episode. She said I can never see my niece and nephew again. Why? Right before Christmas. Don't we had a new Santa Claus at our Christmas party? Oh, the she's trying to talk to you about her problems. She said I was turning them against their father, which I wasn't. Not that he doesn't deserve it, fucking crackhead sack of shit. She forbid me to ever see them again. You smoke crack this fuck. Gloria is really hot. She is beautiful. I love this song. Damn. She is, I think, the hottest female character in this show so far. <laughs> Guys, if you're gonna smoke, take it outside. Andale. That is disrespectful. The owner's a dear friend of ours. That should be enough for you. Fuck them too. Go we'll find a fucking Taco Bell before I cap your asses. Get the fuck out of here. You alright, Roy? 20 years I'm collecting these things. What the Damn. fuck? It's only glass. It's how's business. You making money? I'm doing alright. Why, well, you got something? My favorite. A truck. Cigarettes. We're kind of with Ralphie now. Besides, when Tony go fucking ballistic if I was in on it? Nobody has the right to tell anybody else how to earn a fucking living. Finally. Well, if you ever think about jumping ship, you know my number. Oh, now you want him. Interesting. Interesting. Mrs. Soprano? Yes. The courtesy van's <sighs> stuck in traffic. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll just call a cab. Oh, you know, that's okay, Jerry. I'll give her a lift. I'm going out anyway. Oh, my God. Oh, Carmela Soprano. You sure you don't mind? Give me a minute. Let me just grab a demo. <gasps> Gloria. So what do you do? I'm a homemaker. Oh. You must make a very nice home to drive a Benz. Kids? Two. You? She's finding things out. She's <gasps> sneaky, sneaky. And uh, my daughter's in college. Oh, Carmilla has no idea. This is... Why are these kids today? They got the world by the you know. Oh, she's going so fast. Oh my god, is she a psychopath? Oh my god. Girl. Slow down, and now she knows where Tony lives. It was very nice to meet you. You too. Nice house. Thank you. Oh my God. What about Maldasanti? Nothing. We were just saying, you know, he's young to be made. That kind of shit. He wanted it. It's like your old man and Tony Soprano. How do you think they got their name on the marquee? Huh? When we was kids, we had our own little crew. Me, your dad, born on him. Tony Silvio Dante. Feats Lamana. He had this, this Saturday night card game and uh, your father sees this as our big chance to step up to the A-League. They took it down. They walked away with, like, 20 large. Jesus Christ. Your father and Tony was on a fast track to being made, and I was still a little shit here like the two of you. He is, like, encouraging them to do crazy stuff. Bigger jobs. We can't help but be amazed at the instincts they possess to protect all manner of livestock. It's making her cry. What can we do to protect them? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Someone call it slanted? I have a flat. Oh my god. Wow. 
so creepy. Slash. Why? Who would do that? Oh, you know who did this, don't you? What the fuck are you talking about? I saw that look. My ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She, uh, you know, got a little jealous and she slashed my tires. And that thought went through my mind briefly just then. So I'll pay for it. What's the big fucking deal? All right, now why would you offer to pay for them if you didn't have a guilty fucking conscience? About what? How does he, he wouldn't know. She wouldn't do it. I slapped the piss out of her last time. Oh. oh. Did you really hit her? <sighs> okay, this is so toxic. Gene panacorbo has got a car again. We can take it down right now. What are you fucking crazy? He's with Ralph. Jackie's out of control. You know it's gonna get squashed. My old man was Jackie Aprile. The worst will happen, we have to give some of it back. All of this encouraged by Ralphie. The psychiatrist told me that my whole life is a lie, and he's right. Yeah, I remember that session. I am pretty sure I have ovarian cancer. Mm. What does the doctor say? I haven't seen one. Have you thought that with your symptoms you might be carrying a child? I know, that's another... Would you be more comfortable if uh, we set the sacrament aside for a moment and stepped into my office? Interesting. The psychiatrist said that I should leave my husband. May God forgive me when he said that it seemed so right. My life is financed by crime. His crime. The psychiatrist says it's all blood money. It is all blood money. You say your husband has good in him. What you have to do is learn to live on what the good part earns. You've got to come to an awareness of where that line is and forgo those things which lay without it. I think I can do that, Father. I'll try. I don't want you to leave, Tony, but... But I think you should, like, recognize the guilt and why you're feeling it. Guess which former medical student is no longer dating this queen of mean? You're kidding. Hello? Mrs. Soprano. Gloria Trillo, Globe Motors. Oh, hi, of course. How are you? Uh, I still have another year on my lease. Well, run it by your husband. Maybe he'll want to treat you. She is crazy. Wow. Here's some saleswoman from Globe Motors. What? She gave me a ride home while they serviced the wagon. But I really should hold on to it for another year, don't you think? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so much. This is so much. Gloria, you are insane. That's right. I mean, not that you should hold her like that, but Don't you put her in her place. Out of your fucking mind talking to my wife? All right, I was upset about your ex-girlfriend, all right? I'm poor, confused kid. I thought you should see my version. Put her in her place and leave. Don't touch her, but put her in a place and leave. It's just normal to be curious about someone that you love significant others no it's not it's fucking twisted it's no. twisted it's so twisted now you can tell you shrink your own date relationships that's right just came from dr otelli's tell, tell us God, what's is wrong everything all right apparently i've never been better it's a little thyroid thing thank god interesting i thought i was pregnant mm. The President of the United States, for crying out loud. I mean, look what his wife had to put up with, with the blowjobs and the stain. <laughs> we could all take a page from her book. What, to be humiliated in public and then walk around smiling all the time? And in the end, what did she do? She set up her own little thing. She did. She took all that negative shit he gave her and spun it into gold. She's a role model for all of us. You're kind of hypocritical, Carmilla, because you talk like this, but then Tony cheats on you and you know about it and you do nothing. Tony, I just feel like to go. I'm sorry. I, I, stay. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> just ended. Just ended for real. She disrespected your home, your marriage. I love you. Stop it, Gloria. Sorry. I'm sorry. Quit fucking crying. I can't stand it. I'll sit back like a mute while you screw every woman out there. See, there's that tone again. I mean, we had our uh, no fall or whatever. <laughs> and it was great. 
Don't you think that you could treat me like some stupid fucking Goomba housewife? Just because he buys me some ridiculous gaudy fucking ring? What? What the fuck do you get off, huh? Poor you. Oh my god. I didn't just meet you. I've known you my whole fucking life. That's right. My mother was just like you. Bottom was black hole. Oh. The mother now. Oh my god. You're fucking crazy. She's insane. All I ever asked for was kindness. I'll call your wife! Oh my god. What'd you say? Oh my god. Tell your daughter about us. <gasps> you gonna get my wife or my family and I'll fucking kill you. You understand me? I'm going, you cock. Oh my fucking god. Kill me. Kill me. Don't, don't actually. Don't actually. Don't actually. Please. Tony, she's not worth the trouble of actually disposing of the body, etc. Just like threaten her really hard, but don't actually kill her. You sure you want to do this? Why? Oh, you? Come on, Jackie. You talk the talk, so. Let's do it before the crank wears off. Anybody want a drink? Ooh. Nobody fucking move! Empty your pockets! All of you! Come on! Very bad, boys. Stop fucking looking at me. Come on. <gasps> Are we Chrissy identifies him. Oh. <laughs> he left. He left. Their getaway car left. It's around you can't. Then you are. <gasps> no. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Their getaway car is gone. Get the fuck out! Oh my god, we're in Jackie! Jackie! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Wow. Hey, God, sucker. Please. And Jackie. We didn't know you were in there. Wow. What with Ralphie? You have to take Furio to the hospital. You shut the fuck up, you're gonna make him in an artery. My this fucking theory. prick is a really doctor. Close, I'm a prick doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Little motherfucker, he's going, Tony. He's going big time. Are you sure it was Jackie Jr.? Yes, I we find are him, I'm sure. doing him tonight. No, you're not. Because he's Jackie April's kid? He took a shot at me, he tried to kill Furio. We're made. You preach all this wise guy shit, and meanwhile, the only ones who gotta play by the rules are us. Oh my I God. loved you. What happens I decide, not you? Now, you don't love me anymore, well, that breaks my heart, but it's too fucking bad, because you don't gotta love me. But you will respect me. Okay. I'm speechless. Everything that just happened, everything, including this argument between Tony and Chris, it's like, what the? I know how close you are to the family. Uh, I feel for you. You're living under the same roof. I know it was my card game. I want to give the kid a pass. Everyone wants to give the kid a pass. I'll make sure your orders are done, whatever they may be. Well, I think you should go with your instincts on this, Ralph. Because he also wants to give the kid a pass. I'll make sure they respect your decision. Because I'm sure you're going to do the right thing. As well understand if you want to give him a pass, and I'm sure everybody else will too. I don't know, bro. I think this is yours. Stupid kid was carrying it around during the holidays. What are you thinking, Ralph? What's he gonna do? Just another Irina with a college degree. How did you recognize in Gloria, underneath all her layers of sophistication, this deeply wounded, angry being? How? How? She came out and showed you how crazy she was. That's how. 40 fucking years old. He's 40? Or she's 40? 
Why do you put your marriage in such danger? Maybe I'm looking for a way out. You'll never leave your wife. Bullshit. You know, there's a limit to how much she shit I... might leave you, but you'll never leave her. Wow. In spite of everything, you're a very conventional man. I said all right. Interesting. Are you going to kill her? Look, I'm not back in 10 minutes. They call the cops. Standard operating procedure. Here's some standard operating procedure. Stay the fuck away from Tony Soprano. That's Shut right. the fuck up and that listen. That's right. Or go anywhere near him or his family. And they'll be scraping your nipples off these fine leather seats. <laughs> My face is the last one you'll see. Not Tony's. That's right. It won't be cinematic. Or poetic. It'll be messy. And you'll be dead. So just stay away from Tony and his family. He has a very serious drug problem. He may owe <laughs> some money to dealers. Oh. Uh, the pain of a mother. <laughs> oh, does Ralph care? It seems like he cares a little. I'll be home in about 20 minutes. Huh? Yeah, I picked up the stuffed shells. And life goes on. Okay. Wow. I truly love these two episodes so much. So much. Let's talk about him. Y'all, these were such great episodes. Y'all were right. These are amazing. I think my favorite episodes so far, but I'm not sure. But still, amazing episodes. First, when people said that Pine Barrens was so good, I kind of thought it was going to be more like a more foo actually, like the second episode we watched. Heavy and mafia filled shooting action stuff. But instead it was kind of light and funny and I'm so glad that they gave us this. But a couple of things that I want to mention about this episode. First, Polly is going a little erratic. He's on this power trip and he caused trouble with Valerie. I think Valerie is alive and I don't know if he's gonna come back but if he does I'm so happy that Tony put Polly in his place and said if Valerie does come back he's your problem not mine. It also shows how Polly would just give up Chris so easily and I'm so disappointed in him, but y'all called it before. Y'all said that Polly was not such a good guy as I thought it was, so. And secondly, this job gone wrong really put Chris and Polly in a situation where their interactions were just so funny. Just like the whole thing, uh, Polly losing his shoe and them eating ketchup packets and just, it was funny, their hair, like Polly's hair. <laughs> I spent most of that episode laughing, so I'm happy they gave us that. Okay, now Amorfu was so good. I preferred it actually. It was intense and heavy and a lot of stuff happened. And also a job gone wrong. The situation with Jackie Jr. is kind of insane. First, Ralphie encouraged him and Dino to be more daring and just do bigger things so that they can get ahead of the game. And so they did. They busted a game that was Ralphie's game, killed Sunshine, shot Furio, and got in trouble. They got caught. Of course, Jackie Jr. is out on the run, but that's why I really liked that conversation that Tony had with Ralphie. Like, it seemed like they were trying to make the other person decide to clip Jackie Jr. but they didn't want to make the decision themselves they just kind of wanted to pass on the responsibility to the other person and that's why I think Tony at the end kind of like pulled that piece that he took from Jackie Jr. and gave it to Ralphie and said I believe this is yours basically like you did this so I don't know what's gonna happen there we got to see how twisted Gloria actually is getting close to Carmela, calling her in the house bringing her home like who does that? And I'm so happy that Tony put her in her place, but I think she was provoking Tony. She's, she's suicidal. She wanted to die by him. And that's why I liked so much when Patsy told her like, listen, don't get close to Tony. We're gonna kill you. And even if we kill you, it's gonna be me, not Tony. So 
Good job there. <laughs> These two episodes were so good. I'm so happy to have watched them and I cannot wait to watch the next episode that is the season finale. So make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when it comes out and leave a like if you liked this reaction. Also coming over to Patreon to be part of the Joey and Phoebe Club along with my friends Chris, Tony Aragon, Tree Top Jones, and Smoke and a Coffee. There's still space for you, Sue come over. Thank you all for watching with me and I'll see you all next time. Bye.